Hello guys and welcome back to Germany, at least virtually, because today we are having a German car. A sports sedan, high performance car. And it was made by BMW. Now, if we're talking about BMW sports sedans, it will be of course an M5. Now, I don't know which one you thought of, but today we're looking at the second generation of this series BMW M5 E34. As usual, let's start with the walk around, then look inside and learn some facts about this car. Now, the story of this specific car is very interesting because when it was bought in Germany, it was uh, almost immediately imported to Spain. And then when the owner sadly passed away, since 1995, this car sat in the garage up until 2019 when the current owner bought it. After almost 25 years in the garage, the fuel tank was cleaned, spark plugs installed, all the liquids changed, and it started perfectly. Notable mention, this is so-called pre-model, the earliest M5 of 1988. We will talk about it a bit later. Now it looks like an ordinary 5 Series E34, but there are some differences. Exhaust pipes are a bit wider, license plate holder uh, it's in the black color then we are coming to the very interesting point about this car this is the special turbine wheels these covers are directional so the direction of the spikes are different on the right side of the car and on the left side of the car and uh, these wheels were introduced to cool the brakes Without these covers, they look a bit different, no? <laughs> then if we look at the front of the car, we have the distinguished small lip at the bottom of the spoiler and the M5 logo. Nowadays, BMW puts this logo everywhere, but back then it was the real thing. By the way, the grills were uh, later changed to the wider ones. Now let's go check the engine. First of all, you will notice haha, this one. You need to open it up backwards. And now let's see what's inside. Inside we have pure engineering, no unnecessary things, no plastic, pure BMW power. Let's move on to see the trunk now. Well, it's quite spacious, I would say. And also what do we have here is the original BMW toolset with a very rare BMW cloth with the logo. Okay, let's make a break and switch to Tom, the organizing. Hello and welcome to my garage. An exceptional item we're having today. The BMW E34 M5. This was the last M5 assembled by hand and it was released as follows. First generation, the E28, was the fastest production sedan in the world. Fastest sedan. And it was assembled by hand. assembled by hand in Germany. And the car that we are having today, the E34, was the second generation of the M5. Some interesting facts about this model. First of all, it was the first time that the station wagon, so-called Touring, was introduced. And it's quite rare, only 891 pieces were produced. Point to mention, BMW also produced the Coupé version of the E34 uh, M5. The model code was E35, but it was never uh, commercially released. And uh, if you look at the photos of the E35, you can spot the front seats that are taken from the 8 series, from the E31. Then the third generation was the E39, but this model was uh, not assembled by hand anymore. 
it was mass production. And currently we have already sixth generation of the M5, code name G30, uh, on sale. Now sometimes the generations are being calculated a bit differently because before E28 M5 there was a car which was called BMW 535i and chassis code E12. And uh, certain sources relate this E12 to being the first generation of M5. But let's stick to this one. Now let's dig a bit deeper into the M5 E34 versions. So up until the end of 1991, the first modification was used with an engine of 3.6 liters. The majority of all the M5-34s was uh, with this engine. It was around 68%. Then another engine was introduced, or basically the same engine, but it was improved with the horsepower, with uh, a lot of different options and so on. And the E34 with the, this engine was produced till the end of the production. Then um, here we have an interesting item. 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, merely 5.6 seconds. Top speed, 291 kilometers per hour. So with, with these figures, it was on par with Ferrari Testarossa. Imagine that. And looking at the color that I've used, you might have probably guessed, I'm talking about Alpina. It was Alpina B10. And uh, as always, although it's based on BMW, it's not a BMW, hence these 507 items are not included into the total quantity of the M5 produced. So with this, let's make a brief pause. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in the BMW M series, you can always go to the BMW registry and find uh, a lot of interesting information over there. And now switching back to the other me. Now let's have a look inside. And the first thing we will notice immediately, the M5 logo, but it's white instead of being colored because this M5 is a pre-model. Then the instrument cluster is a bit different to the normal E34 with M5 having red arrows instead of white and oil temperature instead of the fuel economy. And then famous BMW M5 seats are equipped with manually retractable knee support. And there is also one very fancy thing this BMW is equipped with. It's the official BMW flashlight. Very rare item. Now let's check those rear seats. First of all, you might notice this is not a five-seater. This is a four-seater. And there is a huge container to put whatever you like inside. Bottle no, doesn't fit. Anyway, here we also have another compartment usually used for the first aid kit or for the maintenance book, which this car also has in full with all the invoices and technical inspections. Another interesting moment, safety belt locks are not near the center, but near the doors. The interior of this M5 is basically the same as the standard E34 manual gearbox. Ah, by the way, talking about the gearbox, did you know that the first gear, to engage the first gear, you need to move the lever like this and then engage it. See, there is, a, there is an additional movement. It doesn't even have the place to put my favorite mineral water. But I'm not mad or angry at it. And I don't care about the water at all. This is a real driver's car. This is a real driving pleasure machine. With this, let's have a break. 
Let's switch back to Tom and let's see how much the M5 E34 costs today. So back to my garage and back to the usual price review. What do we have on the market currently? In Europe there are only 30 pieces on sale and the M5s in the E34 uh, chassis are not cheap. So the cheapest you can find will set you back 17,000 euros. And uh, interesting moment that I've encountered uh, two Taurings, although they are extremely rare. Uh, also, there is one Alpina B10 uh, on sale for the staggering 60K. Looking back at 1990s, uh, these were the prices of those cars when they were new, so around 100,000 German marks for uh, usual M5 and around 150 for Alpina. And uh, nowadays, if you compare one German mark in 1991, today it will be around 0 0.9 euros. So these were the prices. Main takeaway. So this is a car for a BMW enthusiast, first of all. Second of all, it's a pure handmade German engineering. Don't forget that. It's not a production car, it's not a conveyor car. And also like with majority cars in our review, it's a good investment. Maybe even better than a Bitcoin. So guys, before saying goodbye, let's hear the M music. So nice. Proper sound of a proper engine. This episode has come to an end, sadly. I hope you like the M5 and the video overall. So, as always, please subscribe, stay safe, and see you in the next series. Bye.